Hey guys, got a cool one here. Uh, this is the Thompson chain um, that I've been talking about in my last videos. I found this on eBay. It's a uh, 1964 Thompson chain and genuine cowhide and then the liner is a bonded, yeah, bonded leather liner. So it's kind of tough, but flexible and it's actually lined. So you got leather lined and it's in just excellent shape for being 50, 54 years old or so. Um, obviously it was probably a little bit darker brown. The camera's showing it a little bit lighter than it is in person. So actually in person it is, I'm trying to get the darkness to like that in the shadow. That's about how dark it is in person. So the camera's really bleaching out the color a lot, the lighting, but Look at that. It's just in excellent shape, guys. Check this thing out. It's not cracking. So I'm going to get some treatment for it just to give it a little bit more moisture. Because I can feel it's a little bit tough, but it's still in great shape. Um, the person's name's on there. Kind of. Steve Bryant, I think is what it says. But it's coming off. It's almost gone. But it doesn't bother me at all. Um, I love these old Bibles. These things are so awesome. And I found it for... For me, as being a Bible geek, guys, this thing was cheap. It was like $30, $39 for an old Thompson. It's only got like three pages or four pages I found with a couple underlines and a, a bracket mark that somebody put. But relatively, the whole Bible is pretty clean. So I'll show you guys. We'll just go through this slow and let you guys see it. 1964, printed in the United States. And the paper is just excellent, man. This shows you guys this India paper. India paper is so good. The paper that Thompson uses is the acid-free India paper. And it doesn't yellow. I mean, it's going to yellow a little bit over time. The reason this is yellow here is because of the glue that was on there. But check this out. All of these markers were in the gutters throughout the Bible. I had to go page by page. And I might have even missed maybe a couple. I'm hoping I'll find a couple more. But... Right now, I have all of those ones on there, and so I'll be able to add these ones additionally to it, and then we'll see where I'm at there. I'm going to try to find some other ones to fix it, and hopefully I can find some tabs somewhere out there online. So if anybody knows where you can find these old-fashioned Thompson-style tabs, um, could you let me know down below in the comment section? Because I looked up tabs, and all I found is just normal, you know, modern tabs and stuff like that, so... But it's relatively the same Bible. It hasn't changed over time. Um, they have added so the pages don't match up. And there's going to be more, you know, cross-references that they've added to it. But as you can see, the print is an older... It's got like an older style font. And it's really hard to tell um, compared to what we have today. This is the modern Thompson right here. So, hold on, my lens has a little smudge on there, guys, so I'm going to clean it. So I'm blacking you out there for a second. Fingerprints off of there. As you can see, there's the modern font and modern paper, and then the older one. So you can see the paper has gotten a kind of a creamy color to it, but I think it might have been a creamier paper to begin with, because it's not like different color on the edges. Usually when it gets old, you'll see a lot, like down in there, it is getting a little bit yellow down in there, but that's because there's glue in the binding, so the glue causes the discoloration. But it's just excellent. But check this out. This, these were papers that were in throughout, so I found that one and this one, so the person was, you know, marking their studies. I love that kind of stuff. But check this out. Overcast stitching. I'd love to see uh, Thompson start doing that again. I'd love to see them start doing leather lines again. That would be great. Leather liners would be awesome. Um, their genuine leather is really nice, though. I like Kirkbride's genuine leather, but if you're going to get a King James, the best route to go is church publishers. You're going to get yourself a nice Thompson chain. And for everybody out there that doesn't know, um, church publishers has a new King James, not new King James, <laughs> sorry to say that, uh, King James with new thicker paper. Um, so if you go there, they have the King James now that has, instead of, I think they said that the Thompson paper is a 20-pound 20, um, 20 paper. Uh, I think it's they're using a, I think it's 19 GSM, and now they switched to 26 or something. I don't know. You have to go on there and read it. 
but they do um, they did start making it in thicker paper which I'm I'm not happy with until I see one right now that kind of bums me out because personally I, I don't have a problem with Thompson's paper being thin um, it marks really well and it doesn't have bleed through and that's what I love about being able to write in this India paper but this one has really good text I, I love older fonts I just love the older print it does fade a little bit so throughout the text you'll get a little bit of fading with the printing but, I mean overall guys I mean the gold is still on there 54 years old there's no water damage there's no stains you know nothing like that the binding is all intact I mean even the ribbon's still there 54 years old and you still got ribbon I mean it's getting thin but I'll fix it and replace that ribbon and start using this and it is in in red so all you anti-red guys are gonna go no it would have been really neat to find it in, in just black font. That would be great. That would have been really cool. But this red print is pretty good. I don't mind it. It's well done. Well done. I like the style, the look of the layout of the, the pages. It's different. The print that they use, the font is a different font style. Um, people with an eye for your fonts, you're going to see how it has that older kind of typeset to it. You see the more modern font here the new one so then you jump over here and it's a more bold old school font so yeah it's really cool and i love that i was able to find those tabs that was like just little little treasures i kept finding as i was going through each page and you can see the ink gets darker on this page than some of the other pages so a little bit darker kind of bounces around a little bit and thompson's still doing that but this is a really good print. I love this Bible. I'm so happy to have found this thing. Um, it doesn't match up with the new one. I checked the pages and stuff, so it is off. A little bit different. So the studies will be different in this one. But I was surprised to find that it's relatively the same in the back. The way that they set it up and the way they do it. I really like how dark it is. How dark that font is. Really, really cool. It's just a nice, clean font. Really good spacing. Love my Thompson chains, guys. I'll show you here the back end. You guys will recognize. It's got the themes. So you got all the book, the themes of the books. Um, just like the same way it is now. Harmony of the Gospels, things like that. It's got all the same artwork hasn't changed over, over all these years the King James has stayed the same they just updated some text and added new references and stuff like that but isn't that awesome guys $39 I and mean, come on that's just crazy but I want to show you guys the old maps I love old maps in these Bibles they just look so cool and then you can see the overcasting so we got overcasting the maps, so the maps are all going to be holding on tight, so this Bible's going to get used. I'm not going to write in it. I think I'll keep it clean as possible, but I am going to use it. It's a, it's a great old Bible. I love these old Thompsons. Very neat. Check out these maps, guys. It's so old school. I love it. Look how cool that is. It's like finding an old comic book. Just really, really neat. Look at that. So you map geeks, I love these old maps, I love that, isn't that cool? So yeah, keep an eye out, um, I'll put the seller's name in my description below the video. Uh, he's he's a guy on, you, on uh, eBay that I've seen for many years, I've never bought a Bible from him, but he always has tons of Bibles, so I will leave his name in the description because he has really, really good deals, guys. And, Man, I'll tell you what, uh, what he said about this Bible was spot on. I mean, it had a couple spots where he didn't find the writing, but he did. He tried. He said that he found a couple spots, but um, I found a couple more, but not a big deal. And, you know, he talked about the Bible, and it came just like he said. It's in, it's in really great shape. It's a very nice Bible, and, I mean, his prices are excellent, guys. I mean, $39 for a 1964 Thompson that's leather-lined, that's just 
a great price. That was a really, really, really good deal. And so I'll leave his name below and you guys can check him out and, and see what he has because he has a lot of really good skull fields and, and just you can find some really neat older Bibles. I don't know where he finds them at, but I tell you what, the guy has some really awesome, awesome collection in stock. So anyways, guys, love you all. Hope you liked the video. And if you got any questions, just hit me up anytime. God bless. Love you all. Bye.